Tonight, bushfires are burning out of control in our east and southeast. Here's the situation as it stands. As many as 35 homes have been destroyed or damaged in Rollystone, Kelmscott. Hundreds of people have fled their homes. Many are at evacuation points. Fire is also threatening suburbs east of the city of Brigadoon, Baskerville, Millenden, Red Hill and Hearn Hill. But first, to Rollystone and Nadia Mitsopoulos reports. The fire came through so quickly, residents had no time to prepare. Uh, look around, we got major property under threat here. Uh... The massive blaze took out everything in its path, home after home destroyed. You'll need to advise all houses by Buchanan Road, Canning Mills Road and Coventry Road. Over. Fanned by fierce 90 km per hour easterlies, there was no hope of stopping this fire, no hope of saving these houses. The blaze took everyone by surprise. As firefighters scrambled to the scene, residents ran for their lives. It was reported just before midday near Brookton Highway and Old Coach Place in Rollystone. Within hours, the fire raced into suburban Kelmscott, triggering mass panic. You will not put that out. The way the winds are fanning it, you need to leave right now, OK? Some residents took no chances and left, well aware their lives were in danger. Get the hell out, man. Get out, out, man. Get out. This is the worst I've seen. Yeah. Get out. Police yeah, get raced out. from house to house, ordering people to leave. You guys need a lift? Are you all right? Many chose to stay and fight this blaze head on as more properties burnt around them. As many as 35 homes have been burnt and many more remain under threat, lives too are still in danger. Residents here are terrified. It's like turning day to night time. The, uh, put the lights on on the car and it was just still making no effect, it was just thick black. We thought, well, nothing's going to stop this except for the wind. They've watched this inferno all afternoon and can't believe what they've seen. All they can do is watch on helplessly at roadblocks with no idea if their homes are still standing. As the afternoon passed, people were continually moved back as the flames closed in. Got the dogs out, the wife out, the kid out, and that's it. Is the worst part not knowing what's going on? Yeah, it's not knowing whether your house is gone, because everything's in it, you know? Everything you've done over years, gathered over years, has just gone. Residents were evacuated to an area near Kelmscott Primary School, but had to be moved further away. Go along the riverbank, somebody white T-shirt's gone through. Police arresting anyone who tried to get into the fire zone. The strong winds are making it impossible to control this fire and flying embers are sparking spot fires. Some elderly people have been taken to hospital and residents at a Kelmscott nursing home have been evacuated. 150 firefighters are battling this blaze with the help of helitax. Fixed wing aircraft have also been called in, but it's not enough. These residents had to fight the fire themselves. So you guys are fending for yourself? Yeah. No, she's here on her own. We've come up. Like, everyone's just come. The she's our friend. We've come up to help her. I mean, the fire, the fire brigade were here and they left us with a hose. So obviously there's, you know, bigger problems elsewhere. This afternoon, FISA ordered all off-duty staff to return to work. Nadi Mitsopoulos, Nine News. Fire zones are in Rollystone, Kelmscott and the eastern Perth suburbs of Brigadoon, Baskerville, Millenden, Red Hill and Hearn Hill. The blaze east of Perth in the city of Swan is still threatening homes and isn't under control tonight. Here at Kelmscott we can confirm 10 people and a firefighter have been injured and taken to hospital. The fire threat is building as we head into the night with winds expected to pick up. The Weather Bureau predicts they could get as strong as 70 kilometres an hour. Many roads are in the danger zone, I'll just go through the list. Clifton Road, Connell Avenue, Turner Road, Canning Mills Road, Urch Road, Brookton Highway, Bromfield Road, Hill Road, Albany Highway and Orlando Road. And the Brookton Highway Bridge has collapsed. <coughs> Ebony Ferranda is at the evacuation point on River Road in Kelmscott. Ebony, how is everyone handling this? Well, Greg, we're here at Rushton Park where hundreds of residents had gathered, but in the last half hour or so, most decided to flee. I don't know if you can see, but the flames were coming dangerously close here. The smoke's incredibly thick around this area. The helitax is still going backwards and forwards, and also this wind is incredibly strong. We've seen some amazing scenes today, people breaking down in the streets in tears. These people just don't know what's happened to their homes or if they'll even have one to return to when they're allowed back. I spoke to some as they were evacuating.
how you're all feeling. Lady across the road, um, her house really hard, on. difficult um, waiting game. Yes, they won't let us in, oh, and we just want to try. Yes, yeah, Did you manage to get a few things out? Some things. Uh, I just want to get back up there and try and get some more things out. Not knowing what's happening, you know, that's the, the scariest part, we just don't know. Don't know where the house is going to be when we get back home or not, but not much you can do about it, eh? How did you get out of there? How quickly did you get out? What did you take? Oh, I just... Hello. Just grabbed, uh, <laughs> grabbed my dog over there and <laughs> grabbed uh, the passports and that sort of stuff and just just went. We left home and I uh, left my son there. So your son's still inside the house? Still in putting water outside. As we mentioned, around 40 elderly residents had to be evacuated from the local aged care facility here. They're tonight at the IGA where many residents have gathered. It's going to be a nervous night ahead for these people. All they can really do is wait and hope for the best. That's the very latest from here. It's back to you, Greg. Thanks, Ebony. Now to that other fire we've been telling you about east of the city. It's still threatening homes tonight in a number of suburbs near Swan View. Alexis Donkin reports. The blaze spread rapidly. Fueled by strong winds, the flames rose above rooftops, lighting up the Perth Hills. It started about nine o'clock last night near Swan View. It's really scary. From above, nothing but smoke. Below, thick flames spread across the landscape, embers jumping more than a kilometre at a time, causing large spot fires. Some residents chose not to risk it, leaving their homes last night, Midland Recreation Centre becoming an evacuation facility. We've got their caravan, so we were able to get out quite quickly. Just took the caravan and just one pair of clothes and shoes. Was it a bit, a bit frightening, mate? Yeah. Others stayed back, choosing to fight the fire themselves and protect their property. Stayed around to see if we can defend the property, basically. Since four o'clock in the morning, we've been uh, dumping down and filling buckets with water. Some didn't have time to get animals off their properties. Beloved pets were left behind. Now people are just waiting for news they're OK. The fire is You're fine. More in this, this area here. Four helitacks worked from above to contain the blaze, but the task's been difficult. Firefighters have been facing an uphill battle out here. The winds have been so strong, with gusts up to 90 kilometres an hour. What's the big concern? Is it the wind? Well, um, it's as you can see, it's fairly inhospitable areas that the fire is travelling in. There is homes out in amongst all that, so yeah. we're, we're trying to uh, protect properties out there. The hell attacks were almost grounded this afternoon because the winds were too strong. It's believed the fire was deliberately lit. The arson squad is investigating. Alexis Donkin, Nine News.